What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we are talking about notes. Yes, Samsung notes versus Google Keep notes. This is a debate that a lot of people have asked me about over on Twitter and also in the comments section over time. You guys probably see that I use Google Keep notes a lot in my videos. So some people always ask, well, why do you prefer it over Samsung notes or do you prefer it or do you use them both? So today I'm gonna to address that. I posted a written piece over on the website about it. Gonna expand on some thoughts here in video form for you guys today. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my four-year-old son, Jonathan. As usual, we got some animals to hang out. And today we got sea creatures. We got the whale shark right here. And then over here, I believe this is a humpback whale. Someone will have to correct me if I'm wrong there, but I think this is the humpback whale right there. Looking very, very cool. We always appreciate him. If you guys are new to the channel or if you are a returning viewer, maybe you just haven't been here for a while, make sure to check out our website, sammyguru.com. We cover written tutorials, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. Again, I did have a written post uh, version of this where I covered the comparison between the two. And I'm gonna kind of go through my thoughts and expand on my thoughts a little bit on this particular post in today's video. So if you guys are interested, you'll be able to check that out. Um, also, you guys can sign up for our mystery box program if you go to the website. The Z Flip 6, Z Fold 6 mystery boxes will be coming out soon. So check out the links for that. So I evaluate these in several key performance categories over on the website. One of those categories was uh, just the overall UI and kind of how they look, the look and feel. Um, so I'm just gonna take a look at each app individually and then at the end we can kind of make some conclusions kind of how I did in that article. So Google Keep is indeed one of the apps that I use the most on my Galaxy phone. And uh, the one thing I love about Google Keep, as you guys can see here in the app, let me actually expand it fully so you guys can see it. Uh, Google Keep has a brilliant interface um, it's very simplistic and that allows you to kind of get a lot done with organizing your notes. There's actually two different layouts here. Let me move this little icon. You can switch to this layout or the card style layout or just have them listed like this. So you can have kind of like a pen board or like a pegboard of just ideas, which is kind of how I like to use it. Or you can use it like where you just scroll vertically and you can kind of see a couple at a time. I prefer this one. It's just easier for me to use personally. I like the simplicity of Google Keep. Now you can label things over here. You can also integrate this with reminders. You can set them with Google Assistant, which is another thing that I really like, is that it is compatible with Google Assistant uh, across all of your different devices. You can archive, send notes to the trash. And then if we go into the settings, there's not a lot of settings on here, which is where Samsung Notes kind of has some advantages. There's a lot more advanced settings and things you can do. And of course, as we'll get to in a second, you can use the S Pen with much better integration, of course, inside of the Samsung Notes app. So you can add new items to the bottom, move checked items to the bottom. This is when you check off items on a checkbox. Display rich link previews. So you can display rich link previews of websites uh, in line. You can change the theme, light mode, dark mode. Uh, reminder defaults, you can set different you know, like if it says set a reminder for morning, afternoon, evening, you can do this. And you can also do sharing. So Samsung Notes also has collaboration. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, if you're interested in sharing your notes, you'll actually find that over here. You can see where we've got notes, reminders, all of that, archive and trash, all those labels over there. And then down here, when you actually set a note, you can go to add and you can see here, you've got take photo, add image, drawing, recording, or check boxes. And then up here at the top, you can also attach to this a reminder and you can see the different reminder types that you can set. It'll even show you the different locations as you guys could see there. Uh, here, this will allow you to archive the note if you want to. Um, and then also at the very top, you can pin notes to the very top, which is where I put my most important kind of reminders and things I need for work. As you guys have seen, you can also change the color, even the custom background there as well, in addition to all of those things. So the nice thing about Google Keep Notes is that not only does it have a simplistic interface, um, it also allows you to integrate everything with your Google services. So you've got your Google accounts there. The search is very good, of course, because this is an app that's made by Google. They're always they're very good at search, obviously, so that is something that you can do very easily. Um, you have the opportunity you know, to collaborate with people inside here if you want and share your notes, um, just like you do with Samsung Notes. But the cross-platform cross compatibility is what really makes this the app that I use the most. Because of course, I use a MacBook Pro as my main editing machine for YouTube. I also use a Chromebook and a Windows machine in addition to my Android phones. Uh, and so using Google Keep Notes just makes it so nice cross-compatibility wise. 
and the layout is really easy to follow and uh, everything like that. So that's something I really like about it. Like I said, you can do all of your work in here, keep all of your Google accounts, and also have notes for each individual account. So you have some notes for work and some for personal. You can kind of have those all separated out by your various Google accounts. Now you do have the ability to draw in here, but of course, you know, the S Pen works here, but it doesn't work as richly as it does inside Samsung Notes, which we'll see in a second. So you can do that, that is an option. And you do have the option for voice notes and images as well. But some of these features also work a little bit more, uh, more richly inside Samsung Notes. So let's open up Samsung Notes next, and let's take a look at it. I don't think the Samsung Notes card layout is quite as nice as the one for um, Google Keep Notes, but you do have the ability to, you can see here, change the grid size. So if you don't like this, you can certainly do that. And you can also change this to a simple list, just like we did inside Keep Notes. The default is not as nice, but it's more customizable, which you would expect from Samsung. You can also go here, edit, delete all of your notes here, right off the top there. Search right there. And then one feature that I love about Samsung Notes, which is something I use the most for this, and that is you can go and export your note to a PDF. Now that's not readily available in the Google Keep Notes app, something that you would have to do on a computer or something like that. So that's one additional feature that Samsung has. And of course it does have a place where you can go and search. You can use voice search in there as well. It does work pretty good, although I find the search to be a little better in Google Keep Notes. Let's see if I covered all the things here. Pen favorites to top. This is also pen functionality, which we also saw that Google Keep Notes has as well. So they have a lot of things in common, but also some advantages for each of the applications. Change the way here that you're sorting them as well, title, date created, and date modified. So Google could use some of those options pinned to the top, in my opinion, to sort as well would be another nice thing to see in Keep Notes. So over here, if we go over here, you've got old format notes. These are notes in the old version of Samsung Notes, which you can convert to the new version. Shared notes, this is a collaboration feature which I find to work a little bit better than Google's one, even though Google, of course, is cross-compatible for all the different platforms. If you have two Galaxy devices, this works really well. Trash, you have a bunch of different folders you can separate, manager folders, and up here you can go to settings, and there's just so many settings inside Samsung Notes, which makes it stand out compared to Keep Notes. So you can sync with your Samsung account, sync to Microsoft OneNote. So that does give it some cross-platform compatibility, but not all the features available in Samsung Notes and the Galaxy devices are gonna be available in OneNote on all your machines. You know, like if you're using a MacBook or using something like that, you may not have access to all those different features, but you at least can view your notes um, and do some basic editing. So sync shared notes, Wi-Fi or LTE, Look when saved, this is uh, for screen off memo, which is another huge way that I use Samsung Notes. That's why I said I really use both of these applications side by side, even though Keep Notes I use for a lot of text lists. I use Samsung Notes when I need to jot something down with the S Pen quickly, like a phone number, grocery list. You go ahead and write it down on screen off, and then it'll save it. You can choose how you want it to look when it's saved. If you go down here, style of new notes, you can choose here, adjust color and dark mode, choose template and color. Look at all the customization options you really have here. You have so many more customization options than you do in Keep Notes. And again, that's what you would expect from Samsung. You can customize to any style you want. You can also change your note unlock method, change password, fingerprints, right there. You can use biometrics, auto save your notes. Note Assist, which is the Galaxy AI feature that helps you with your notes. You can auto format notes with headers, bullet points, and paragraphs, summarize them, etc. So if you scribble a bunch of notes with the S Pen, it can help you summarize those notes to a more you know, condensed text version. Show web previews, which is basically what we were talking about earlier. Keep notes can do that as well. Show links and notes. Clipping, you can clip web pages, pictures, etc. You can use the S Pen really nicely for cropping those kind of things. Action icons, so call numbers, send emails, solve equations. If you have an equation inside your note, this can actually solve the equation for you, which is absolutely awesome. Hide scroll bar when editing, hide navigation bar, block back button when editing, handwriting language, and you can choose toolbar add-ons like clean up handwriting, S pen to text, auto fix shapes, so many tools. Look at all these options that we have that don't exist in Keep Notes. That's why I love Samsung Notes for handwriting, especially with the S Pen, and then converting it to other stuff. So if you guys wanna see what the actual Notes interface looks like, let's go ahead and start a new note here. Obviously down here, you'll be able to change the color of your pen. Let me go ahead and do that so it's a little more visible because I changed this to a blue background. And then you've got a number of options down here like lasso, eraser, marker, highlighter. 
Um, the S Pen to Text option that I was mentioning before, Snap to Shape, this option right here, allows you basically if you draw a circle here uh, and you snap that to shape, it's going to make it an exact circle. Same thing you can do with a triangle. Like I said, you can solve equations in here. You can get a reader view. Up here is where you add an image, camera, scan, PDF, voice recording, audio file, drawing, and text box. Again, even the interface is much more customizable than Keep Notes. And then here you can search, edit the cover of the notebook, sort the page, sort the template, and go full screen. You can invite collaborators here, save as file, print finger drawing on, so if you don't want to just draw with the S Pen, favorite, share, trash, and lock the note, which will then allow you to do two fingers to scroll up and down. So a ton of rich options in here. Um, the S Pen to text is fantastic. You can see here that if you want, you can just choose to insert it into a new text box. So I can say like, hi, and then that's going to convert it to text and say hi, and then give me some options up here. I can even insert emojis and do stuff like that. So the note taking on here is just incredibly, incredibly feature rich, and that's what I love about Samsung Notes. Anyway, I hope you guys can kind of see from this comparison that Keep Notes and Samsung Notes are both excellent options. It really depends on what you're looking for. I use them side by side for two different purposes. When I need simple lists, like these little check boxes I do for videos, I use Keep Notes. It's also nice because it syncs cross compatibility. But if I need to take notes, brainstorm, write down a quick memo, anything I'm going to use the S Pen for, or I need rich formatting and functionality, I always use Samsung Notes for that as well. And of course, it still syncs to my Galaxy devices, and I can get them onto my MacBook Pro if I want to. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, make sure you check out our website, sammyguru.com. Sign up for the uh, mystery box with your pre-order. Get a free case cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand, all that good stuff when you use our affiliate link. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.